Hi guys, welcome to my small tutorial or review about Wiser, the Wiser application. Yeah, it's more uh, a small review. I've only been using this for about one day. I started yesterday. I had a problem that I'm using a crypto currency trading app at my mobile phone and that's even better than the, everything i'm using currently on my computer so i yeah i always have to check my uh, mobile phone when i'm trading or at least yeah some sometimes so i mean i can trade at the computer but i always want to update after a trade uh, my my app at the cell phone so uh, it's a little bit a bad thing so i have to, to go back and forth to to my to my mobile phone my, my mobile phone is usually not where i'm sitting okay i could do that but still then i have always to open that and uh, yeah, so it's. I think it's easier when you have something where you can access your mobile phone from your PC. It's always a good thing. You can use that for different things. Also, when you can want to write uh, big letters or uh, longer text uh, like uh, SMS things. I mean that there are other ways you can use like uh the uh air droid or you can uh, wireless keyboard or different things but but the, this thing uh, uh, as a whole is is very unique i think i've been looking for that a couple of years ago and i haven't found that i think it's new maybe i just missed something but <clears throat> yeah sorry um i think the overall concept and everything is really good and it's rather new and so i thought i give it a try i didn't know uh, how much it would cost i just started with that so you see there are a lot of people were reviewing that uh, already i mean it is a chrome web store app you can see that you can uh, um, yeah you you can find that when you go to chrome.google.com you type in wiser here you have a search thing you type wiser <clears throat> and then you get to the app click on that and then you see all the things like overview few pictures reviews which are not so good uh, there are a lot of bad reviews i haven't checked them all a lot of people say it's not working at all or it had some uh, bugs viruses i don't know uh, maybe people just just hate things or but uh, a lot of people were saying they had communication issues and i can uh, really confirm that uh, at least i tried at the, at the first day i tried i mean i have maybe to to start from scratch <coughs> this uh, communication between your PC which is has to be Windows not Mac it has to be Android and not iOS so the communication can be either USB like cable wire <coughs> or it can be wireless so cable is free uh, probably you will get some some uh, ads uh, but but not so bad I mean as long as you don't make any uh, broadcasting or like uh, something in front of people or so where you, then uh, some people have been complaining that they had been uh, they had been displayed some doubtful uh, ads when they were showing the display uh, like they were broadcasting in front of a lot of people so yeah uh, if you're using that maybe it's it's better if you uh, get the paid app so anyway I think it's it's way better than you have the possibility to use Wi-Fi so um, yeah regarding support you get uh, like you can see questions answers and related thing yeah you see there are alternate solutions but I'm not sure if this is really uh, fully replaceable I think this is quite unique so what you need you have to install this on, on 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 chrome as you can see i have already installed and i can only press on launch okay 
um, what you have to do as well you have to go to this website the adbclockworkmode.com but you will be guided anyway after installation you will be guided to decide to download the windows driver for that so i don't know anything about that but it worked so <clears throat> what you also need of course on your mobile phone that's the visor app you can install it here and yeah that's about it on the mobile side um the thing is you have if you are using usb connection you have you have to activate the usb like uh, developer mode of usb or something like that so the, but 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 the, after installation and using uh, the the app will, will tell you to do that if you want to use usb so that's about it installation uh, plus the driver on the Windows side and plus the USB um, developer thing activation on the Android side so then it should be able to connect so what you do you go to a new tab like I do this here let's see new tab so and then you have or oh, usually on the left side you have the apps chrome apps which you have installed and then you see the visor um, icon and when it works it will show your mobile phone if, if, if there's no connection you can click on this icon connect to network device and usually it should be able to find it i had it this morning that it didn't connect and it, it it showed a message that it's not possible to find it okay but usually it should be able to find your device and then you have possibility of sharing or viewing it and also you can set a few settings i don't know all of them you have different bit rates so it means different quality low quality high quality uh, resolution video decoder and dim display while connected this is really important because otherwise you see on the computer screen you will see what's displayed on the mobile phone as well so when you see your screen and you have your mobile phone some at some other place like charging in your kitchen and then other people will be able to see it as well so when you're doing the dimming so at least people won't see a lot just very 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 few that uh, of course helps you a little bit so let's get out of the settings so uh, it seems i closed everything so let's open a new tab apps and here it is again okay so we have the what you actually need now is the um yeah here you have all the settings as well i can't explain you everything but if you want to start to connect you have to click on view so let's see how it works it tries to connect sometimes it takes quite some time so in this case it was mm, more or less okay so this is my mobile phone screen you see it's charging and it has some message from uh, telegram so i'm trying to unlock that now let's see how that works it's always a little bit tricky especially when when there are some uh, messages around so let's keep trying i click with the right mouse button so you see i click on the lock icon sometimes it needs a little bit of time and my wireless connection of course is not the very best i'm a little bit far away maybe from the router now but it should work sometimes it's working really good sometimes 
having a little bit of problems as you can see and then it says oh, okay I don't want to do something for you I'm just going to back to sleep now so this is this can be a little bit of a pain depending on your internet speed or on your Wi-Fi connection I'm really struggling with that and that's that's a, a bad thing of the Samsung I think I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge plus something like that and it tends to yeah it, it does it a lot of time not not only with this app it does it a lot of time that it says okay I'm not interested in working for you I just make black screen and do nothing so that happens really a lot so probably I have to open my mobile phone manually otherwise I cannot continue with this video so now I have my mobile phone on the side and hopefully it will be um, yeah I will be able to open I try again that was double left click nothing happens one right click at least the screen to comes on I try to drag the uh, like this lock to the right side doesn't do anything so that's really disappointing so I press now the home button and unlocked it actually on my mobile phone I see the unlocked screen oh wow that's really 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 super slow and that's strange now here I can see the old screen the locked screen on my mobile phone I see already the unlocked screen so that's really really super slow I don't know why um, I've been uh, working a little bit closer before to the uh, router and then it was really it was it was faster not super fast but but it was faster so this is really really super slow I hope wow it's going to the right that was about one minute ago w when I did this manually wow that's crazy I don't know what it's doing now I mean it shows that I have a good reception actually on my mobile phone quite decent let's say decent reception I mean that it's not not, not, not not super but it's it, it's also not bad here and on my computer as well I have about I think it's about yeah you can see five f or almost more uh, yeah as good as it gets so this is really strange so yeah but I try to show you some things so most of the things really work like you were on your um, on, on, on your uh, mobile phone so you can yeah this is really super slow oh my goodness um, let's start a weather app so that's now getting a little bit faster so I'm trying to open the my radar doesn't do anything wow so uh, with um, with escape or right uh, mouse click you can go always back now it doesn't do anything again so it's almost impossible now to show you anything that's really crazy and I mean that's probably the reason why some people just give uh, one store I mean you see I'm on the same Ethernet uh, same wireless network and I have a fast 
uh, network and connection is actually not bad on both of the um, devices and it does just nothing it does really nothing I'm here trapped somehow I can't do anything usually I should be able to do some settings here you can get back I think to the settings which we had before like fast or slow this, the strange thing when I do it from here I can't use it so I have to click on that and use mouse up mouse down so I can't see the full pull down menu when, when I uh, was doing this from the Chrome menu like here so it was uh, way better that's really strange so I close this it's uh, useless anyway it does nothing I think I have to reconnect again if it does I don't know if it will reconnect anyway it had so super super slow uh, connection yeah now obviously it says it has no connection for some reason I'm now on my mobile phone with yeah manually but yeah the strange thing I mean I can say yeah connect and yeah here you see it says wise has detected an Android device yeah okay then use it holy sh oh my god it's so super slow you click on anything but not the thing what you want okay so we are back maybe there's a chance we can do something okay oh, it's it decides to use the weather app again oh my goodness okay so now yeah okay so you see the thing it looks actually good and it is really super slow it was really faster I mean yeah not super fast but but it was faster and, um, the thing is you can't uh, you can use scroll with, uh, with the mouse you can go up and down you can move the, the map around you can you have seen that um, yeah if you have faster connection then then you can move it around but you have you don't have any multi-touch that's as far as I have seen that's not available and I and I wouldn't know how to do that I, I have no idea maybe there are computers which provide multi-touch at the touch pad below the keyboard I don't know if, if something like that would work um, I'm using that now okay it's so super slow it's it, it's impossible to decide what actually happened on my screen so I'm leaving that but the thing is um, yeah when you, you you can use your um, keyboard regular keyboard to enter some things which of course I can't uh, as long as I'm here stuck on this screen you can use the escape uh, button to go to, to the main screen and let's say you want to t uh, make a text like a, uh, a large SMS and send it to friends then you can t use your computer uh, keyboard and text uh, much faster than, than, than on the uh, vir virtual keyboard on your mobile phone uh, that's, that's the good thing the bad thing is that it adds actually well, with the installation it adds uh, another compute like an, uh, another keyboard now it's stuck again I was hoping that I can show you this uh, so I, I go to the settings menu already on my uh, mobile phone so here we are 
are so I hope settings super slow oh my goodness what happened now okay it decided to just go to the lock screen for some reason and enter pin instead of using fingerprint because of security policy ha 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 yeah are you kidding me so why just in the middle of everything he decides to oh okay i'm not interested to work i'm just showing you something or i i, I I'm, I'm just a little bit wasting your time so yeah you have anyway plenty of time i can i do a little bit of log screen and so that's crazy so try let's try again settings and then we have to go i think it's advanced features um you can see now i'm scrolling with my mouse up and down so this is a thing which you also have now available so i going to here and now you see a li live uh, demonstration okay i have already keyboard from my last search but i, I i'm typing that so you can see that uh, k keyboard okay so that i was typing not on my mobile phone but on my computer and then you can go down and you find the default keyboard and you can see that now you have an additional keyboard i had my samsung original keyboard and this is the swift key which i installed and usually use and this is the visor keyboard which they uh in, in installed with the whole visor package so the thing is um yeah now you're not using not not able to use the swift key or samsung keyboard at the same time let's say this is connected you go back to your mobile phone want to open want to text to somebody it's not possible because this is activated now so that's a little bit um, yeah okay no i, I mean mm, is it good bad i mean it's uh, yeah it's not 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 good but probably it can't be there's no workaround for this and even worse let's say you go out of this uh you go back to everything so okay you have it like this um yeah okay uh, as I told you, this is the screen what you see on your computer, but not only you, also people walking around your phone, wherever it is, they can see that. You can set it on dim, which we already did. So I was showing you this in the settings. You have here on the bottom, you have the dim. So that's a good thing, actually but it's not really black and if somebody touches the screen they will do something so it's not protected that's a little bit the bad thing and yeah um okay you can dim it but but it's it, it it's it's still open actually so it's it's really unprotected everybody can do anything with your mobile phone and if you have paying apps and so it can be a little bit of a risk especially when you just decide to close here you do the close you, you you select the close button here then you think yeah okay it will probably lock the mobile phone in my case yesterday i did that and it didn't lock the phone so when i returned about one hour later back to my phone it was still unlocked and it was still showing this screen so that was a little bit annoying me um, the second thing when i took my phone i wanted to start to text the thing was that um yeah now yeah i can't do anything it's locked again so yeah the the second thing was of course that my that it was not able to use my 
uh, keyboard anymore the, 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 the virtual keyboard on my mobile phone I haven't been able to use that because the visor keyboard was in, uh, in, in installed so I thought yeah maybe I can solve this case with a restart uh, but it didn't solve the case it, it was still the visor keyboard uh, activated on my phone so I had to go to settings and advanced and find keyboard and and so on and 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 check the uh, uh, Swift key X again so after that I was able to use that and I had some strange lags in the morning uh, after installing that and mm, yeah okay so if you really need that app and this is my conclusion if you really need that and you can't find something else I mean yeah you can buy this for uh, probably I haven't shown you the thing so here you have the home page somewhere it has been that's really strange where is it now yeah anyway I can I can tell you um, it's it's two dollar fifty per month or ten dollars um, a year or forty dollar lifetime so that's uh, what you can buy and pay so you have um, that maybe can permissions website yeah here we have finally the website maybe we have already checked that I don't know so pricing here you see that different options you have there's a pro and the regular version and you see also pricing two dollar fifty a month ten ten dollars a year or forty dollars lifetime so that's the thing and with uh, enterprise I think it's two dollar per person per month something like that so different options so so if you really need that if you if you don't have another option I don't tell you that it doesn't work so you of course you have to have a really good connection I think you have to be quite close to the router or at least you have to have super fast Wi-Fi and everything so fast machines fast window machines fast um, Android um, mobile phone and then it can somehow work I mean I have been able to work with that for a couple of hours this morning and it was fine but of course it was close to the route and now in the in the uh, yeah, review which I'm doing now so yeah it can it can really work and let's say you're paying 10 bucks a year it's not so much I mean it's not cheap but it's not uh, like uh, hell like yeah so e e expensive like hell so so yeah why not to do if you don't find another solution so it is a little bit of trouble it's not so very easy to install sometimes you are having problems to connect to your device which you have to do here I don't know if there is a standalone app for the computer for Windows as well it looked like that when you go to the home page of Visor there's a download so it almost looks like there's a standalone version which is not include uh, I mean not uh, embedded into Chrome I don't know but it can really work so like this here you see I'm already on the Windows again so it can really work if you really need that and if you have if it helps if you have an app which you don't have on your computer and you can't have the, your mobile phone all the time right on your side or you don't want to yeah whatever so uh, I'm at the moment I'm not so sure about it if I will keep that I started with 250 a month and I will check it out for a month and after that I will decide if I keep going or if I will just handle it by having my cell phone on on my side so that's the other option now 
so yeah that's about it uh, i'm sorry it was a really really long video um uh, yeah you have seen i had really trouble connecting so thanks for your patience and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel and yeah if you have any questions comment or something like that write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to help so yeah thanks again and see you next time